Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Jojo and Shrutspa. Yes, Jojo. Awesome. I'm not going to move Peach. No, Peach. Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> Good. You shouldn't. I never. No, no I should. <laughs> yes. But um, so this is interesting because now I've heard the song. You know what happened. I know. Tell me all about it. I've been waiting to do this reaction because I wanted all the goss. So I was like, "Tell me, you were okay. invited by Coke Studio Pakistan to actually be and Spotify to be part of it, right? Yeah, to part of the was, unveiling." Oh, huh. there was yeah, there was a special listening session that they had for like forty-five minutes uh, before the track dropped, um, and um, and yeah, it had uh, you know the Talal, Hassan, Justin Bibi's. They were all there. There was um, Zishan from Coke Studio. um there was a uh, khan uh, fm from spotify and um yeah it was just a fun session there were a whole lot of other uh, people on the call media and youtube and everything so it was just fun because we heard the song and then we had a q and a with um with <coughs> these guys so it was nice huh. so i'll tell you so, about whatever i asked upar upar hi nahi ha correct give nahin. a full detail but i just want to huh. say that i've heard the song but i didn't watch huh. the video they didn't show us the video So oh, I was good. I was okay. happy about that because there'll be something yeah. for me to uh, absorb now when we react. Um, and they played the song again at the end, so I've heard the song twice. Um, and, and and before we even listen to it, what is it like? No, but I don't want to color your opinion in any way. So oh, I will I will talk Pura about. Pura mushkil hai vaise. I know, ha. but I will just I'll, <laughs> we'll just discuss it after we react to it Done. together, and then Done. I'll tell you all okay. the other things that were discussed and all that. You know, so super fun. It was a fun session. Thank you, Coke Studio, for the invite. Yay! They should have more of these. Actually, oh, yeah, they huh. should. Okay, chalo, huh. let's do it. <laughs> Ready. It says, "Rasta chhodiye ab ham aagay." That's why piche <laughs> hats. Uh, so, I mean, you, you, we love the Lal and Hasan's combo anyway, right? Yes. Pesa yes. and uh, what was the other one? Sweet two. I think sweet two, Hana. <laughs> well, let me. Sorry, I have to like refresh my memory a little bit. But um, we, we basically point is we love their combo. So always, yeah. yes, we do it once. So, chalo, let's get into it. Ready. One, two. Oh, wait. Sorry, one more thing. Before yes. We, yes. Just, Justin Bieber's. I'd not heard of them. Uh, but I, they I were. Haven't. Yeah, but they were a viral uh, phenomena um, in the Pakistani community, and you know, in Pakistan and abroad, all around the world, because they um, they had sung, I think, their version or a cover of a Justin Bieber song, Baby. Um, and i don't oh. know where this was but it was a few years ago so people know them from that viral video of theirs and now they are in coke studio so cool that's nice. a little background okay huh. hello let's get Ready. into it 1 2 3 play coke studio season 14 peace be heart <laughs> जैसे तू मेरी खबरों के नीचे आगे की सोचू मैं अब तू मेरे पीछे पीछे रवानी तो देखो ना कितनी बेमिसाल है वजन रखते अल्फाज यही तो कमाल है लंबा बुटे ये घड़ी जो मेरी आई है कि मैं बनाऊ असल मेरी अपनी जाती है शोभा मेरा लगे चार चार फ्लैक्स नहीं बचे स्टेट करू फैक्स में अकेला काफी में नीचा ये मुझे फीट ले तू जितने मर्जी फीट ले नीयत साफ की थी सुन सबसे स्वीट है जमाने सुने की थी ये सच जीत है दजी बस जब गाड़ी मेरी बेट है ओ तेरे का और आई यू ट्राइंग टू मूव मी कुछ ऐसे पहले आ रही यू बेली न्यू मी न्यू वेव आई सी ऑल योर ग्रूविंग दिस वेव्स गोना हिट द चार्ट्स व्हेन आई जूम मी नो वॉच मी हिट द 
तो फिफ्थ गेयर तेरे सारे अपने मेरी साइड पे ढेर काम बोले बोले वजह से ये पता नहीं जिस भी भी साथ ना ठेक रहे वही रास्ता छोड़िए अब हम आ गए गड़बड़ की ये अंदर वो सब कुछ थोड़ा सा तोड़ फोड़ रहे हैं दैट इमेज इज गोइंग आउटसाइड द विंडो एंड इट्स लाइक वेट सो हु वॉट इज दिस न्यू हाँ वो पीछे हटा दिया ऑलरेडी नाउ इट्स लिटरली लाइक हु इज दिस न्यू कोक स्टूडियो वॉट इज इट वॉट कैन ए म्यूजिक विल इट हैव एंड with this song i think that definition is complete it's everything and anything just taken and then made gorgeous yeah. and by everything and anything what i mean is which is very very non coke studio type of songs non coke studio type of john there is no no uh, you know that definition of this is not coke studio uh, that definition doesn't exist anymore now because everything can be coke studio just made better oh my god this so song is so this. catchy yes. why Because right. I'll tell you. Okay, because this, this it is so catchy, and this, I know I'm going to be listening to it for a really, really long time, and just all of it. Yeah, the song is really good. Now I'm very excited to know what is the discussion that happened. Tell me, Joe. I need to know. <laughs> so first of all, I'll just say what I thought about the video because yeah, uh, hell's yeah, it's awesome. The set, the set, like it keeps changing and evolving in every song, and we keep saying this. We're just repeating ourselves, but it's so in keeping with the vibe of each track. And this was no different. Yeah. It was just, it was that. I just love that whole thing on the wall. I love the cartoons and the animation and and just the different elements, the colorfulness of it. Um, and not like it was. It was actually like the colors were not like the colors of Pasuri, for example. That was also colorful. Yeah. But this was yes. colorful in such a drastically different way because the yeah. songs and their sound and vibe are miles apart. And so correct. Um. So again, hats off to everyone who's who's behind the designing of these sets and the costumes and everything because. Uh, you know it was so young and so youthful and so that fresh. was that was so traditional yeah. and from the core of the culture and all of that this is more of the yeah. the the you know we are the young people and this is this is how we act and this is who we are and this is what we like and this is our vibe and all of that so it just reflected all of that so freaking well and i like that they put that whole gaming thing in there because uh, i mean that's what people are doing nowadays right gaming is so big. i don't know if that was a thought behind incorporating that but it was just so good well done so um that aside what i asked hasan and Tal- uh, talal yesterday was what was your brief because as soon as we heard the song i was like yeah. this is not coke studio 
um, in its sound. And yeah. you know, when you don't have a video to focus on, you kind of imagine the visuals in your own mind. So in my right. own mind, while listening to it, because you know there was the the guy doing the percussion thing on that pad thing that we saw. Yeah. For me, yeah. it sounded like it was one of those. And because I've been to so many. Um, big like concerts and house nights and big DJ events and all of that uh, for yeah. me it's a very it, like the first visual that popped up was one of those nights where you know there's a DJ up behind the console and there's a percussionist keeping him company and everyone's just dancing in the in the club or at the concert right so for me immediately that vibe came because the beat was such and the music was such and and yeah you, you had the little thing happening in 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 the middle um, yeah the percussion bit um, and then, of course, the vocalists um, and the vocals came in as well. So for me, it was like, is was that the brief that I want to create this massive like club night slash concert, you know, um, like a house, um, uh, a, like a Tiesto or a David Guerra night? That, like, was that the brief Correct. was my first question. I was curious. Uh-huh. So I asked them that did Zulfi give you a brief even? And if he did, then what was it? Um, so interestingly, both of them said the same thing that Zulfi and the reason they love working with him is because he just gave them complete freedom. He just told Hassan, be you. And he huh. told Talal, do what you do. Do what you yeah. do best. And that's it. And that's it. Literally, that's it. So, so Talal apparently brought like six, seven beats to the table. And oh, wow. finally, they went with this. And even Hassan, when he heard this, they went with this. And 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 uh, as far as the lyrics of the song go, that was exactly like there was no starting po- point or thought. He literally told him, "Be you and say what you want to say." So, huh. so he just went with you know, like we are the that whole vibe of we are the the younger people now, and and um and we're here. And you know, mm. if you don't like it, then piche hut. So he just wrote from that and then he had to he, he had to write his rap bit as well. And then he had to also write the lines for Justin BB. So he was like, oh, you know, nice. talking about how he he kind of merged all of that and put all those different thoughts into into the song. Mm. So I think like mm. and he and he had lines in Sheena. I think that's one of the languages they have there. Um so he had four lines in Sheena as well in the middle and I think he knocked it out of the park as far as the lyrics go. Absolutely. Because the energy, the energy, the attitude with all of it, the way it was presented from even with the visual aspect of it, you don't expect the Coke Studio set to look like that. You know, that there will be some artsy creativity, whatever thing going on. But here it was yet very artistic. But in its own way, it was so youthful. It was so, I can I can listen to this even in a club. You know, when yeah. you were talking about how a, was that yeah. the feel, yeah. I can actually dance to it. Like, you yeah. know, this is one of those songs. I, I know for a fact, itni hazaar reels banne wali hai na, laakho no. reels banne wali hai ispe. It's no, going to so, be bad. <laughs> so you remember like when we lived in Dubai together, I used to go yeah. to the pe- Peppermint Lounge like every Friday and, and literally yeah. I would be dancing in front of the speaker all night. This was literally <laughs> giving me that visual when I was listening to it. I was like, I want to, I want to dance to this. Like, like you know um yeah in club. so so if that was that's what they were going for they got it they got it they, yeah they yeah. definitely nailed and it and also in the in the lyrics i like how uh, you know especially when justin bds were performing uh, mm-hmm. they were talking about that how uh, uh, people don't like us or whatever like you know uh, uh, despite the kind of negativity that we have got we've still risen and we've done whatever we wanted to so just ko bolna hai bolte raho piche hat like you know so that the way the way the whole feel had come into it mixing with the lyrics yeah. well done hasan rahim yeah. like if he's written the lyrics wow, wow. And, and and justin bbs as well the, the way they sang those lines was just such a it was it was just such a good mix of one their vocal texture is so smooth yet kind of yeah. husky like a little on the yeah. huskier side but just really smooth yeah. and then the harkats yeah. and the thing the fun things they were they were adding to the to the lines on their own it just like just added to the vibe of the song so well so um that and now coming to why i love that you said what you said right at the start huh. is because um you know how this is uh, not your typical coke studio what you what you expect which was a brilliant question um i can't remember who asked it but someone asked uh, uh, zishan from coke studio that why is um how is coke studio changing its format so much and becoming um you know not the very traditional uh, music of yeah. the land kind of uh, space it's moving away from that space in this season and was that your what was the thought process behind that when you guys decided to do this um, in the season yeah. and everything so very interestingly he said that you know the 
we went back to the core like starting point of why coke studio started in the first place and that was mm. that um, there were different parts of the country and people from different parts of the country who were feeling disconnected you know there was no like a, a place where they felt like they could all um, there would be an amalgamation of all their cultures and styles and sounds and it would all come under one unified sort of banner so right. they decided that at that time when coke studio started that was internally within the country there were people who were you know they were disconnected so we thought let's connect yeah. them all on this one platform now what has happened after like 10 14 years of the show the disconnect is happening from the younger people and the older people and even yeah. pe- because now the the I, and i and like this is what my guess is um the generation has changed in a way where the the younger guys have had a lot more exposure to out, to the outside world whether they they yeah. you know whether it comes within the the education system and how it's evolved or whether they've all traveled a lot more um, social than, media yeah in and, the simplest course, way exposure biggest, biggest yeah. thing is social media and its exposure yeah. and and all of that um so now that disconnect was what was the most glaring thing you know the disconnect between mm. the younger kids and also so the starting point of coke studio was always to bring Uh, people together in in the sense of bridging that gap between whichever yeah. part of society it lies in and right now it lies in the young versus the old or you know that whole like where do we find that meeting uh, point so Correct. hence 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 what coke studio is doing and it it doesn't take away from the core of what coke studio was always about in the first place so you know because i've seen so many comments from people under the coke studio reaction saying Oh, so now Coke Studio has become another, you know, and it's oh now Coke Studio was supposed to be a, a representation of our cultural, like old, like our traditional cultural mm. and folksy things, and 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 show our art to the world in that way. But the whole message for that is that this is also now the art of your land. You know, it's also Correct. part of who the people here are. So we yeah. have to find a meeting point. So we have Correct. to evolve with them and with what's happening around us. So I thought that was Correct. awesome, right? I think uh-huh. it's brilliant because if you don't change at some point it, you know you will kind of get left behind and I think it's amazing what they're doing it's a very tough jump to take especially for a platform like Coke Studio because there are so many expectations and the certain you know labeling that is attached to it yeah. so for them to be able to break through and create it like this wow like yeah and I have I'm that sure, much more respect now for them like already yeah exactly and I'm sure even they yeah. anticipated like there will be a little of bit course, of yeah. some people who will not be happy with the change and some who will love initially it. yeah initially yeah. i think change is always difficult <laughs> when it yeah. first happens yeah. uh but if you can keep yeah, ultimately on... good things are good things and good things will always remain initially someone might not like but like you know you listen to it five times if the song would have come out randomly somewhere else we'd be like wow what a song you know this song should have been there on coke studio and here coke studio is doing it so which is brilliant i think all of it is very good and i think the point is that there is space for everything to thrive and evolve you know <laughs> yeah. it doesn't that doesn't need to be just one thing that should be inclusivity is the you know is so, the crux of it so yay so i think this is uh, can we we we'll label this a party track no coke studio's first party track like <laughs> Party track, lift me up track. Today I know I really needed this song. The song is making me feel very happy right now. And I say I really want to listen to it. Like yeah. I, uh, I, in my head, like it's constantly going on. I really want to just like you know, अभी react करने के बाद मैं जाके एक बार तो ये गाना बनता है every morning. Like you know, it just puts you in a happy space and you're like grooving with it. And it's yeah, like, yeah. Like we it. just talk about Hassan, Hassan's vibe. Like it's so in, in keeping with his vibe and what he's what he does <laughs> yeah, best. And the way he was vibing, and the way he was just looking at the camera and staying his life. What know? was what was that like during the interview, during the meetup thing? Was he like this only, or was he like what was he, going on with he him? He was late. Uh, I mean, he wasn't late. He was so he was in call. keeping. <laughs> he was so he was in keeping with his persona. <laughs> you know, I don't know. He was probably stuck in traffic for the first part of the call, and then when the Q and A started and the first question went to him, he was actually running through the lobby of the hotel. But I mean, <laughs> I expect no lesser. It's, it's This is fine. perfect. <laughs> yeah, but you, I mean, uh, what you couldn't really see his face because he had this cap on. But he was, he was oh. himself, and uh. it was fun. It was fun. So it's all good. It's all good, and he had a show in Multan, so we hope that went well. And uh, as always, thank you, Zulfi, for putting this together. Let me just quickly see who the video crew are because so well done. Yeah, and talking of video crew, I hope the BTS comes out soon. Is it out yet? Not yet. It's no. out. It's out. It's out. Okay, so just huh, okay. So, so of course I'll we like will to get see. to it. Of course, yeah. you guys don't even. Oh, see, Talal on the Ableton push and triggers. Um. One second, Jamlock and Jungu. 
Jamlock and Jangu were also used in this Viru Shan. Wood block Udekia and Dhulia by Aziz Kazi. The electronic drums of Bilawal Lahuti. Uh, synth bass Melvin Arthur. Synth and instrument by Mashriki Harun Daniel Octopad. So this is what I'm saying. Like the kind of instrument, I've never heard these names before. So uh, just always good stuff. Stepping it up a notch. Chalo. Thank yeah. you, Zofi. Thank you, Coke Studio, for that uh, listening session. Loved it. And thank you, Talal, Hassan, and Justin Peebies for an awesome track. Yay. We'll get to the BTS soon and we'll see you there. Take care of yourselves. Live long and prosper. Bye. Bye. Show.